So we've got a really super tasty cookie recipe for you today. So we're gonna make a chocolate, pecan, and banana gluten-free cookie. To be honest, you, you wouldn't even know it's gluten-free. Really easy to make, but super, super tasty, and a great gluten-free option. So we're using our Kenwood Chef with the paddle attachment, because we need to cream our butter and our sugar together. So we want 110 grams of unsalted butter, and we're gonna mix that with 110 grams of caster sugar. So we'll just cream that together. You just really wanna work the butter and sugar well together, because if that sugar is not combined correctly, often what can happen is as the cookie bakes, it actually leaks sugar and kind of crystallizes. To our butter and sugar, we're gonna add one egg. Crack it into a bowl first, rather than directly into your mixing bowl. Just for any fear of, say, for example, if you get a little bit of eggshell and it falls into your mix, you're not trying to fish it out. If it's in the bowl, it's much, much easier. That will all be mixed together then with 20 grams of cocoa powder, with a half teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of baking powder. We're then going to be adding a pinch of salt. Sea salt works great. We have 100 grams of chocolate chips and 125 grams of gluten-free flour. Now this recipe will work perfectly well just using regular flour, but for this recipe I want to use a little bit of gluten-free flour. And then we want one ripe banana. We want something that's overly ripe because it actually has flavour. Perfect time to use those bananas that people might not eat. Great for this recipe. And now it's just a case of combining everything together. So it's a really easy recipe. Basically, once you've combined the sugar, the butter and the egg, everything else is just dumped straight in on top. So everything has come together. So you can see how soft it is. Um, so if we were trying to work with this right now, it would be virtually near impossible. So just by popping the fridge for a couple of hours, the butter within the, the dough will set and makes it much easier to work with. Just while our cookie dough is firming up in the fridge, I just want to prepare our pecan nuts because we're going to actually use them as a coating around the little cookie dough balls which we're going to roll a little bit later. So we need to blitz them up. So for this, I'm going to use the Kenwood Multi Pro, but I'm actually going to use the little mill attachment because I'm only blitzing 150 grams of pecan nuts. So our pecan nuts is going straight in. So we just lock that in place. Done. And there's some serious power in that little mill, so absolutely brilliant to use. So pop off the top. So later, when we come to prepare our little cookie dough balls, we're going to roll them in our blitz pecan nuts, which just kind of gives it a lovely texture on the outside. Our mix has been allowed to firm up now. It's been in the fridge a little while. So all we're going to do now is we're going to take a spoonful of our cookie dough. We're going to roll it in our chopped pecan nuts. And if you just kind of give them a little coating with nuts first, You'll find it easier then just to shape without having all the mix stick to your hands. And then it's from the pecan nuts into our icing sugar, which we're going to roll, which gives a nice coating on the outside, and it's onto our tray. And then once they're on the tray, just give them a little squash. As you're working the cookie dough, if you find it's starting to get quite soft and a little bit difficult to work with, don't be afraid just to pop it back into the fridge for a little bit longer just to firm up. So you can always do it in batches. You can bake off a tray, rest can go back in the fridge. This will happily keep in the fridge for four to five days. Um, again, you could wrap it up, pop it in the freezer. Once they're in the pecan nuts, that is the time in which to freeze them. Don't freeze them with the icing sugar. You can apply that just when you're planning to bake them. So to bake these, we're preheated the oven to 165 degrees, and these are gonna bake for only about 10 minutes. So they will still be a little bit soft once they're baked because they're lovely soft and gooey. That's exactly kind of what we're looking for with this cookie dough. So that's our chocolate, pecan, and banana gluten-free cookies. Really give these recipes a try. They're really Moorish. They're soft, they're gooey, almost kind of brownie in texture. Once they're cool, straight from the oven, get tucked in.